Hey everyone, it's Kara Pop here. Today I'm going to read Little Titans, Grandpa and Me by Matt Muller and Hung Yu Lu. I will tell you a story about a man named Hunky Dory. And now my story has begun. I will tell you another about his brother. And now my story is done. Grandpa. When I was a young boy, some days it was just Grandpa and me. One day, we woke up early and ate breakfast. We had sourdough toast, coffee, and hot cocoa. Grandpa and me. There was a job to be done. We had to fix Grandpa's truck. It needed a motor. The motor was far away, and we had no way to move it. So we devised a plan, Grandpa and me. It was windy that day. The crevasses were deep. No tractor could help us. So we packed our things and we walked, Grandpa and me. We set up our contraption, a chain and a lever. We heaved and we hoed and lifted with all our might. Nothing happened. It did not move. Not for Grandpa or me. We scratched our heads and made some adjustments. I got more leverage. Again, we heaved and we hoed. I grunted and I roared. Ah! And we moved it. An inch. Again and again, we heaved and we hoed. We pushed and we pulled. We moved it one and two three and four inches. We moved it together, Grandpa and me. We did this over and over till it was time for a break. Oh, thank goodness, I said. He pulled out two oranges. We peeled them while we sat. We talked and we talked, Grandpa and me. Time to get back at it. We set our lever and adjusted it just right. Again, we heaved and we hoed. Again, we moved it one and two, three and four inches. We moved it together, Grandpa and me. Up the hill we climbed. We dodged the deep crevasses. Our plan was working. We had made it halfway up the hill. We stopped for lunch in the shade of a juniper bush. Lunch was finger sandwiches, apples, carrots, and water, of course. We sat and we talked. He quizzed me at math while we rested, Grandpa and me. Back to work. This motor is not moving itself. So we heaved and we hoed. We pushed and we pulled over and over and over and over and over and over. As the sun was going down, we finally made it, just as we planned. I was so excited, I wanted to jump up and down. But we were too tired, Grandpa and me. We looked down the hill, over the path we had traveled. We stood there in awe, and Grandpa said, Do you know what? Oh, I did know what. I was the strongest boy around. I moved this heavy motor over hills and around crevasses. I was amazing. But that is not what he said. He put his hand on my shoulder. He looked me in the eyes and he told me, If you can move it an inch, you can move it a mile. And that is just what we did, my grandpa and me. The End Hey, thanks for reading and listening with me to this cute little story. I hope I hear from you guys soon. God bless. Bye-bye.